welcoming you to Yoga Nidra with singing bowls. So Yoga Nidra is the art of conscious relaxation and it is um, a beautiful practice for those of us wishing to free the mind, relax the body so that we can free the mind. It's a very different type of meditation in that we are actually encouraged to let the mind wander. And welcoming you, Gordon, as you come in here. We're so happy to see you, friend. So as we get settled, I'll ask you to find a posture that feels really comfortable. In order to relax the body, we need to take all of the tension out of the body. So the first step is to find a really relaxed pose that could be on a mat on the ground with support under the knees and neck. Perhaps you have a couch or you could stay seated as well. And this is all up to you friends and you can change in the middle of everything if you need to. So we're finding a comfortable way to sit or recline. This is about a 30 minute practice. And I will guide you through a series of instructions to help relax the body, to set intentions, and perhaps do some visualization. Before we get rolling, I just want to say that I'm holding you all in this safe space. My intention is to create a safe space for you to relax. Many of us come to Yoga Nidra with insomnia, with stress, with fatigue, and so for you and you're experiencing a range of different situations being human, right? That for you, I would like you to know that this is a safe space to show up in whatever state of being you're in. You are welcome here. The word Nidra means sleep, although our goal is not to sleep. Our goal is to remain hovering between waking and sleeping states. And in this liminal space, we can set intentions and explore another part of ourselves that we perhaps don't get to experience in a day-to-day -day basis. So allowing your body to come to rest if there are any little movements you would like to make wiggling the fingers and toes maybe one more stretch arms above the head or you could perhaps simulate a yawn open the jaw stick the tongue out any little movements that would help you come into this space and I want to encourage you to do whatever it is your body wants during this practice and if you should fall asleep that is completely fine and it is something that happens quite frequently with me in my yoga nidra practice trusting that on some level you are receiving my instructions And now I will invite you to take an easy breath in and sigh it out the mouth. Easy breath in, sigh it out all the way. Taking a few more clearing, cleansing breaths. Coming into this moment as fully as you can, allowing the breath to be smooth as it flows in and out, as you take that breath in, allow the belly to expand and fall on the exhale. 
exhalation. If that is uncomfortable for whatever reason, move your mind to the rib cage. Allow the rib cage to expand up and out and down and in, following the easy flow of your breath. You are welcome here in whatever state of being you're in. The next time you exhale, I'll invite you to allow your body to release of effort. Breathing in, expanding, breathing out, Letting go of effort throughout the body. See if you can feel with your mind, feel with your senses, the support underneath the body. All of the places where the body is anchoring down. Letting yourself trust in that support, let go into that support. Relaxing into that support. And now I'll ask you to move your mind to the area at the center of the eyebrows. Gazing at the center of the eyebrows without strain, the eyes are closed or at half mast. And we're just gazing into the mind space and noticing whatever is there as an observer, as someone who would even watch a movie, gazing without strain at the mind space, also known as chitakash. Chitta means mind and akash means space. So, in that relaxed posture, we are gazing right at the eyebrows, between the eyebrows, and observing what is happening there. And welcoming you, Mark, as you get into a reclining posture and get yourself set up to relax. Coming to a comfortable, relaxed posture observing any colors or patterns, any movement in that mental mind space. And in this space of observation, I would like you to scan this phase of life that you're in right now. All of the comings and goings of your life the things that are important to you right now. And finding one thing that stands out as an area where you might need a little support, an area you would like to improve. Just resting your mind on this one area of your life right now where you might leave, need some support. And we will create our intentions from this that you have just discovered. An intention or sankalpa is just a simple, short, present tense phrase that we can easily repeat. So, for example, if I'm having a lot of health issues and this is an area I need support in, I might create a simple intention, I am healthy, or I am healing. Creating that present tense, positive statement for yourself that will become like a sacred promise you can keep 
a sacred promise, you can create strength and structure in the mind. So important for us. If I'm feeling scattered lately, I am grounded. Might be something useful for feel isolated and lonely, I am connected, I am loved. So finding the sankalpa that is right for you in this moment and repeating it three times internally, just planting it into this bed of the mind. ask you to move your mind around your body. I'll say a body part and you just move your mind there, bringing awareness right now to the right hand, right thumb, right second finger, right third finger, fourth finger, and the fifth finger on the right hand. Back of the right hand. And center of the right palm. Filling up the entire right hand with your awareness. The entire right hand is resting. Moving your mind to the right wrist. right forearm, right elbow, right upper arm, and the right shoulder, filling the entire right arm with your awareness from the shoulder down to the fingertips, the entire right arm is resting. Moving your mind to the left hand, the left thumb, left second finger, third finger, fourth finger, and the fifth finger. Back of the left hand, center of the left palm, filling the entire left hand with your awareness. The entire left hand is resting. to the left wrist, left forearm, left elbow, left upper arm, and the left shoulder. Filling the entire left arm with your awareness from the shoulder down to the fingertips, the entire left arm is resting. Both arms resting. As you move your mind slowly down to the feet, filling up all 10 toes with your awareness, starting with the big toe Moving your mind outward to the second toes, third toes, fourth toes, and the fifth toes, all 10 toes, and 
the soles of both feet. Tops of both feet. Both heels. Filling both feet with your awareness, both feet are resting. Looking within both angles, both shins and calves, both knees, both thighs, and both hips and buttocks. Filling up the entire right leg with your awareness from the hip down to the toes. The entire right leg is resting. Filling up the entire left leg with your awareness from the hip down to the toes. The entire left leg is resting. Both legs filled with your awareness, resting. As you move your mind to the lower abdomen, the belly, allowing the belly to soften. Filling up the upper abdomen with your awareness. Moving the mind to the sacrum and the lumbar curve of the spine. Tracing the awareness up the spine to the middle of the back. Both shoulder blades. back, moving the mind to the rib cage, encircling the chest cavity, filling up the chest cavity with your awareness, all of the organs enclosed in this cavity, the heart, lungs, resting, filling up the entire torso with your awareness, the front of the torso, the sides, and the back of the torso. The entire torso is resting as you move your mind now to the throat, softening the lower jaw, the upper jaw, both lips, the tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, the eyebrows, both cheekbones, all of the muscles surrounding the eyes, and the eyeballs resting in their sockets. forehead, the temples, all of the skin on the scalp, the base of the skull, and both 
ears. Everything between both ears. Filling up the entire head with your awareness. The entire head is calm and resting. entire physical container of the body is resting, moving your mind to your entire body, filled with awareness, following my instructions, the entire body is resting. And now I'll invite you to return to the mental mind space gazing at the center of the eyebrows without strain, observing anything at all that you can in this space called Chitakash. It's like a room in your mind and there could be patterns, shifting, swirling colors, Maybe there's not much there at all. We're just observing and coming into this seat of intuition and creativity. Gazing into this space and using the creativity of the mind, I will ask you to visualize yourself lying in a beautiful meadow of wildflowers. See yourself there. Notice everything that you can about this beautiful space in your mind as you observe yourself lying in a meadow What does the soft earth feel like underneath your body? Resting in that. What can you smell around you? What does the air feel like on your skin? What can you hear? rest in this field as you connect with all of the senses and all of the sights smells around you noticing these layers ever shifting allowing yourself this moment to Relax the body within the mind space, within the visualization. Observe what your body looks like as it is relaxed and nourishing, plugging into the earth. And using the creativity of the mind, you can send imaginary tendrils down into the earth beautiful network of fibrous roots traveling deep into the earth from all of the parts of the body that are touching it. Imagining these anchors, these tendrils moving down, seeking nourishment and support. Tendrils coming out of the base of the skull, traveling deep into the soil of the earth.
tendrils coming from the upper back. And these tendrils could be a color, maybe they're white, maybe they're rosy pink. Sending the tendrils down. to withdraw the roots up into the body, taking the nourishment vitality into the body, allowing that to seep throughout the entire body. And seeing yourself in that wildflower field again. Not only are you relaxed, you are glowing, you are vital. You are alive. All of the parts of the body that are not touching the earth, the front of the body expanding, spacious, open, and free, filled with this healing love, filled with this nourishment, and feeling both things the body grounded, the body free, grounded and alive. Seeing yourself in your mind's eye, easily standing, refreshed, Noticing the ease with which you walk across the field. And then in your mind's eye, you can close the curtain on this beautiful visualization and begin to come back to just the mind space at the center of the eyebrows, gazing there one last time without any strain. gazing at the Chittakosh mind space, noticing anything that is happening there, including nothing. And once again, planting the seed of intention, whatever your sacred promise is that you'd like to make to yourself, repeating that internally with confidence three times now. And then letting it go and trusting that the higher self will manage its manifestation. beginning to come out of our yoga nidra space very slowly, very gently, 
Coming back to the breath, the breath filling up the body and releasing, taking a few clearing breaths to come back. And then perhaps making some very small movements if you haven't begun to already, licking the lips, swallowing, moving the head from side to side. And if it's comfortable for you and appropriate for you rolling onto one side, rolling onto your favorite side and giving yourself a squeeze. Thanking yourself for taking the time for Yoga Nidra today and taking this sacred promise that you made with you into the rest of your month. Create strength and structure in the mind through repetition of that intention. And when you're ready, you can come to sit. And I want to thank you so much for your practice today. Om Shanti 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 Namaste. I hope to see you soon.